didn't mean to talk to this person, but this one gives me like twelve thousand. Like it's just maybe that's not as much as I think, but like I feel like that's so much. And that's two. So it's like six thousand each, but I feel like they I don't know. They might have even nerfed it. I don't know, but I feel like I get so much money. Like I can buy fifty power oil. You just do a couple dungeons and you have so much money in this game. Especially the higher tier dungeons. But that's a given. I did one run where I like sold all my stuff and I could buy 500 assault rifle ammo. And I was like, I don't think I've ever bought 500 assault rifle ammo at one time. Okay. Let's try... I'm gonna do this. Hopefully that's enough. Dude, I don't know what's up with my neck. Ugh. Ugh. It is stiff as a motherfucker. I don't know why motherfuckers are stiff, but... I don't even really get where, like motherfucker became like a slang term i don't even really like i say it, i don't really even understand what it like means in the context of what i'm saying you know what well it's nighttime let's go fights um Blazimut. i should probably try to catch it um ooh, 19 okay let's let's get let's get this going let's get this going Let's just make some legendary pal spheres and then we'll we'll get going. Cause nineteen is a lot. I think a fun challenge for this game. Would not even, like, necessarily, like, a randomizer this game would be fun for sure. Like, just randomizing where things spawn. But, like, definitely a fun thing that I think could be a, a cool randomizer is randomizing what, like, items you can learn. Like, the skill tree, when you progress, like, you could get Chetragon Saddle at level 5, you know, or something like that. Like, that could be very cool. Obviously, it would be very difficult to, like, get that stuff uh, at, the, at level 5, but it would be cool, like, maybe just get, like... You know, Relaxosaurus's saddle way earlier or something. It would be kind of cool. Because I think that would change what pals you would use for different things. But also, this game is kind of, like, systematic in the sense that, like, you know, there's certain pals you go for in the beginning, and then there's certain pals that are upgrades of those pals, essentially. Like, first you start with Pangolet, and then you get, um... And then you get uh, Pen King, you know, and you work towards that. I don't happen to carry a pendant that lets me work faster. This is the way you gotta get dark types. They always work during the night. We got that Tomcat from Isengard. Used to work in Isengard, now he works here. Mining all night long, getting all that ore. We got Cleo the Catrus. Constantly crafting stuff at night. And now we got that Pyrin knocked downstairs, smelting stuff while it's nighttime. Got the whole night night shift. How much do I have? We have 10. 
I'll leave the other nine. We'll go fight Blazamut. Hopefully we can catch him. Hopefully. I need you guys. Okay, I you know, I ask for too much, but I'm gonna ask you guys for something. I'm gonna ask you guys for when we go to catch this Blazamut. I need you guys to stick your hands into the air and send me your energy. Okay? Because I need you guys to send Power World and myself your energy and tell Power World to give me the legendary schematic, okay? So when we go to catch Blasma, when I throw the balls, I need you guys to, like, get your hands up, ready, send me your energy, send them out of your fingertips. You can start now if you want to, but I'm just saying, when we go to catch it at least, I need you guys, you know, fucking ready send me your energy because this is gonna be it we've caught like a bajillion blasmuts i don't even know if it how many times it says we've caught them we've only we've only caught 12 of them but we have killed this thing so many times this is before i i i've probably only killed it about maybe 20 times to be honest like i don't think i've killed it that many times as dramatic as i'm being i've only caught it 12 times but God, I want this damn schematic so fucking bad. Because I want all the legendary schematics. I want to get all the best gear. Lazimut. You foul cretin. So we meet again. Me and Lilith hear that you have something we want. So why don't you just give it to us? Quit playing games with us, Blazamut. You're no longer the Fire Lord that you once were. You're a washed up old man living in a cave. Why carry this knowledge to your grave? All your students have left you. There's no one else to hold this information for. Just hand it over. Make it simple and easy. Or do we have to do this the hard way? Come on, Blazamut. This is your time. In before we discover that the patch actually swapped out Blazamut's legendary schematic to, to someone else, <laughs> that he doesn't drop it anymore. No, 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 not what I wanted. Not that I don't love you, Lilith. I just want to whittle him down myself right now. Because he's definitely in your kill range. I know you're bloodthirsty after all the times we fought him, but... Oh! I don't know how I do dodged part of that. I never want to see you again after this, Blazamut. I don't know how I got out of that either.
Okay, guys, get ready. I'm gonna shoot him. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him in the body. Yeah, because I'm like, if I crit him and he dies, I'm gonna cry. Okay, Blazamut. Everybody give me your energy. Come on. Stay in the ball, you pizza. Oh my lord. You are just so bratty today. My guy. Come on, give me your energy, guys. Hurry. Ooh. <laughs> Who's ready to stay up all night crafting this bitch? Oh my god, thank you, chat. Thank you for giving me your energy. We're never gonna have to see Blazabut ever again. We did it, Lilith. Let's fucking go. Oh my god. I want to see how powerful this bitch ass gun is. Dude, it's real! It's real! <laughs> it's fucking real! Uh... You all were here. Hashtag I was here. I just want to get the saddle out of the way because I don't want to be tempted to use materials I already got if you're like, why aren't you doing it yet? You know? I just want to get this out of the way first. Dude, I can't believe it. Uh, it felt like it took me forever. It probably didn't take me at all. Like, it probably didn't take me, like, at all close to forever. But it felt like it, bro. It felt like it. Hi, Lunaris. Don't want to help or anything? No? Okay. I see how it is. I, I, I got the legendary schematic and you didn't. And now you're jealous, aren't you, Lunaris? Okay, let's leave that. All right, weapons, smith. Let's see. Let's grab these. 270 refined ingots. Oh my god, 60. 67 polymer. Oh my god, with the polymer, man. The polymer is the killer, bro. That's like, everything else is fine. It's the polymer that's the killer. Uh, oh, my lord. Good, thank god we can get them passively now from Doomuds. But I think I might set up a ranch in this area. Yeah, I'm, I'm setting up a ranch here. Fuck it. We need to start... We need to make another floor at some point. I think we might... I think we might make another floor right now, actually. We need to make another floor. <laughs> If I go like this. We're going to make another floor. Hopefully this doesn't get in the way of things. And then we're going to make a ranch. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Um, a ranch. We're going to put a ranch up here. I'll put a wooden box back here. And hopefully... The Doomud can make it up here. I'm gonna set one of the Doomuds... We have two Doomuds right now. I'm gonna set one to just ranch. Actually, I'll set... This one to just ranch. Actually, um, 
don't know why I screamed that. I think Hooligan makes work speed go lower, so we'll do this one. And then we'll see if this works. Because I need more do muds working. Okay, he's grazing. Uh, the 200 some refined ingots aren't bad. Um, we just need to get more coal. Um, 270. We just need more coal, really. The worst part will be repairing it. How, how are you doing over here? Detricon's coming along all right. Uh, all right, let's go to our coal spot. Our favorite coal spot. See, this is where the grind never stops in Power World, my friends. The grind never stops. But luckily, we got our boy Astagon here. Who gives us even more coal when we're mounted now. Honestly, coal mining at this point is like picking flowers, like just next to our house. Just walk to our little garden, pick some, pick some dandelions, walk back home, show them to mom. Yeah, we got both of them up there. One of them is set to just always be up there. The other one is can mine as well. Because I don't want like. Nobody mining, but we have like um, the Pen Kings can mine, the uh, the Anubis can mine. So it's like it's not like there's not people filling in that slot for them. Uh, let's go downstairs. I'm going to cancel this just so we can set up all of it at once. 82. 82 might... We still have coal there? Yeah, so we, we didn't have enough ore picked out yet. I think the gore rat's coming up there to put the pal oil away. How are you guys doing on pal oil? Even though there's like a chest right here. Okay. You guys keep working. This is when a lucky do mud would come in a little very handy. This is when, like, I think I'm wondering if Mao is a good investment, like, level up a Mao really high to just farm coins for me. I'm probably going to end up having to go do mud hunting again. Alien hunting, alien hunting. How are we doing? Five minutes? Okay. Got so many cakes set.
on that amulet, amulet, omelet grind. Amulet sounds like an alien. <laughs> the amulets have arrived. Let's see. Check the boxes around for PAL fluids. Honestly, what are the PAL fluids? Do I even really want to know what they are? <clears throat> I need 134 PAL fluids. They have arrived and they are delicious. What has arrived? <laughs> the microwave steaks? The, oh. <laughs> the amulets. True. The amulets have arrived. Can I hit them from here? Give me all your shit. Give me all your fucking money. These guys dropped polymer. Nice. They were just coming in to help. <clears throat> really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for your support. I need to make sure not to stay up too, too late, because I do have to, like, fucking do shit tomorrow, but I'm also hopelessly addicted, and I want to play Yakuza tomorrow. I would play Power World again tomorrow, but I want to play Yakuza tomorrow. I know. I don't want to play Power World three days in a row, because I end up getting addicted too much. And I bet this isn't super entertaining for a lot of people. Just me grinding, <laughs> so... I could probably go... I mean, we have the Bellinor. I'm probably not going to challenge the Bellinor again tonight. Um, but I do really want... I mean, I guess I don't need to take these out. I can just start crafting them. I do really want to start... I do really want to get this, this gun tonight. So I think maybe we we'll just do some dungeons, I guess. I don't know. We could do some of the ice dungeons, get some diamonds. Uh, we go. He so we go because we already did this one, so it's probably on cooldown. We'll go from here to here to here to here to here, and hopefully these are all open. That's gonna be my goal. And we could do it on Kaiser. I don't even know what that's from. <laughs> that just like unlocked in my brain. The synapses. Excuse me. Kaiser, you talk to them. You're more of a people person than I am.
Dude, this gun is gonna be so cool. At least I hope it is. <laughs> if this gun is shit, I am gonna cry. Like, I want a gun that I could solo the final boss with. <laughs> I think I remember this map layout. You gotta climb to the top. It's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. It's a long way to the top. If we had to pick, like, as like a human, like humanity as a species, if we had to pick a game, like say aliens came down to Earth and was like, we want to play, like, we challenge you to any game in, in, like, Earth's history against your strongest champions in that game. What, like, and, and if you don't win, you die. Like, we just blow up Earth. What game do you think we should we, we should play? Cuz you never know what the aliens are going to be good at. But I feel like fucking like like League of Legends or something <laughs> like <laughs> Get like the best League of Legends players on a team to defend the universe like cuz I ju I just don't think aliens would be able to figure that out. Maybe baseball? Poker. Oh, poker is actually crazy. That's kind of nuts. Also, especially because... Actually, that's kind of a like massive brain. Because poker is just... And just get the best cheaters. I mean, you can get the best cheaters for true. But, I, like, because that's how I'm thinking. Like, if you have the best players at poker, but they all, like, bef ahead of time are, like... Because poker is a, um, is not a team sport. So if we just have, like, say, like, it's, like, three of the aliens versus three of the, the people, the humans. And we just have them all kind of, like, go, like, okay, when I, like, nod, that means I got, like, aces, you know, or something. Like, have them all have tells and, like, work together. You know? Could totally see that working, actually. But maybe the aliens can read minds. Shit. Didn't think about that, did you? This <laughs> just completely... Uh, I should definitely leave... I should probably leave my schematic at home and not carry it around with me, knowing that I could totally lose it at any point. I'm gonna go north from here. But also... I just don't care. Competitive sex? I don't know if competitive sex counts as a... I mean, like... I can see where you're coming from. I think I think poker is actually a really good good game because it's it's sort of one of those things where um you want to pick a game of like somewhat skill but also you want to have luck involved because like luck can end, uh, ultimately screw us as a, a species because like you know if luck's just not in our favor we lose but like You you don't know because in in this hypothetical world we live in now, we don't really know what the aliens are good at, and so if we can get something that is um, partially luck based, it will be an easy way to make it so that like we have a chance of winning even if they're like the best poker player aliens imaginable. If they just draw shitty hands, like they can't really do anything about it. Like, obviously, there's certain ways around it, but, like, or if, like, we just happen to draw better. 
Like, they might have one of the best, like, second best hand in the game. And then, you know, bet real high, and then, ooh, humans had the best hand, you know? Like, it's, it's, you have to have some sort of luck involved, because that allows it to be anybody's game, which allows us to be able to do it. And then, then if we do know how to do it, like, if, or if they don't know how to play poker very well, then that means that we have an advantage going in, and then luck as well as a factor, but we have an advantage going in. And so it's a higher chance of us winning. Honestly, the one that would be the most random and fair would be Russian Roulette. <laughs> uh, fucking, just imagine, imagine like, to an alien being like, okay, pick a game that you're gonna be, like, that you have the best at, right? And you just, oh my fuck. And then you just have, uh, people be like, well, Russian Roulette is like, okay, what's the game? It's like, well, we take this revolver, we spin the chamber, it has a certain amount of guns in, or ammo in it, and then you point it at the at yourself and you pull the trigger. And then whoever gives up, uh, like, loses, and whoever, like, dies, you know, like, if you die, you lose, and if you give up, you lose. And it's like, because now you have these, like, aliens be like, you're gonna, you're gonna, you kill yourselves? This is, like, a fun hobby you do? And you're like, yeah, you know, like, I feel like the aliens would back out. They'd be like, I'm not risking my life in this game, you know? Like, and, and if we bluff them enough, like, oh, yeah, we always win. Humans are the best at R Russian roulette. Like, we always win. They might be like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about it. You know, like, they might be like, hmm, maybe these humans know something that we don't about Russian roulette. Actually, we're going to do you. I could definitely see that. Good hypothetical. <laughs> I was watching, um, I'm a real big fan of, uh, Zach Hadel, who is a, uh, prominent, uh, Newgrounds creator. YouTuber, also known as Psychic Pebbles, but he also does the show Smiling Friends on uh, Adult Swim. Really, really funny show. Uh, I would recommend it fully. But I was watching like an old, um, I was watching a old uh, like Comic Con Q and A, and one of my favorite things about it was like how often someone would ask a question where it's like, so this random background character, like, what's their story? And they're like, what? And they're like, yeah, like, what's this random background character story? And then you're like, oh my god, these these guys are asking such weird questions. Like, how would they know this random background character story? And they're like, oh, you mean that one? And they're like, yeah. And like, oh yeah, that's like this. And then like, every character has like this deep backstory that they keep bringing up. <laughs> and it's so, it's so fucking funny. Because they're always like, like, yeah, when's like this character coming back? And they're like, who? And they're like, this character, like... Oh, yeah! <laughs> I, I love the Smiling Friends show. It's so good. They actually have a season two coming out. Uh, they had a season... I think the first episode of season two is out. And then the rest, I think, is coming out in May. But they're, like, 11-minute episodes. Like, they're, they're basically, like, miniature, like, animated YouTube video skits, but, like, with a higher budget. And they're just so funny. I love them. They draw weird little guys, and that's what I that's what I love. <laughs> I love weird little guy culture. But I was just like, I was up all night watching old clips of them talking about stuff. Because when someone, like, talks about something they're passionate about, you, you kind of just get, like, enraptured, enthralled in them, if you will. And it's just like, I was just all over these videos, like, just can listen to them talk about it all the time. Chardonnay. I was like, where's Chardonnay go? <laughs> one of the one of the best stories they were talking about was how um, they had Gilbert Godfrey play a character, 
I think he plays... I'm not going to spoil it, just in case someone wants to watch it, but Gilbert Godfrey's a voice in one of the episodes, and um, one of the funny things about it was that, like, he just, like... It was, I think it was during the pandemic, so it was kind of hard. Like, he didn't have, like, a studio or anything, and it was just, like, this, like, shit show to get him to, like get his shit like he was a good like good person but like his setup was just terrible and like um he, they had to get on like a zoom call with him to do it and like his wife was on the zoom call instead of like him and they're like was so where's where's gilbert godfrey and he's like uh he's like oh he's in the living room he's like oh do you have like something you can record with and he's like, I don't know. He's like, do you have, like, a mic that you can speak into and, like, record, you know, audio with? And, like, I don't know. Like, maybe. And, I'm like, but we, we need something to record the audio with. Like, do you have anything, like a phone? And, like, yeah, we don't know how to do that. And so they're, like, trying to figure out, and they found, like, this old, like, recorder thing that they could use. He's like, okay, that's fine. Like, just use this, like, a uh, recording thing. I don't know if it was, I can't remember if it was, like, a mic or, like a like, an old, like, tape recorder thing let's just use it and then like um <laughs> they were like we got the audio back and there was just like so much like there was like the notification noises for his emails in the background and like he's like peeking the mic <laughs> like so loudly because he's like screaming and so they're like we had to like we we did some stuff and you could still hear the like email notifications in the background and shit from that it's so funny I was I was dying. I was just like I I love I love listening to like weird shows and like how they how they get set up. But I'm just like that is so funny. It's like and you don't want to be rude or like ask him to like it's Gilbert Godfrey, right? You can't really like ask him to like redo the the take and stuff. Like he's he's a busy man. You know you're lucky enough that you got him for that. And it's just so funny. How's the paling go? We got it. We got it, Flair. We got it. We got the assault rifle schematic. Finally, I asked chat to give me their energy. They gave it to me and we got it. It is fucking real, bro. And now we're just kind of... I'm doing some dungeon runs so I can get a, a bunch of money so I can buy some high-quality PAL fluids so that I can uh, make this gun because it needs 67 polymer. It's not, like, terribly difficult to make, to be honest. Okay, I think I think these two back here are going to be off. So let's just go to Dune Shelter. Nope, I only believed that you... I only believe that you spawned it in. Yeah, exactly. We just used the cheat code. Like, we just used a console I gave up, honestly. Dude, it, I was like, ugh. It was probably the fastest we actually caught him to today. Like, Blasimut was such a bitch to catch today. I don't know what was his problem. And so, like, that was the best... The fastest we caught him, and now we, we got him, and hopefully we can make it. My goal is to try to make the, the, the gun before the end of stream. I don't know how much longer I have in me, though. We'll have to see, and I don't want to stay up too, too late because I have shit to do tomorrow. So we're going to look... And see how far we can get to this. And then also we have uh, some Jetragon uh, breeding that we're doing. Trying to make our army. Clip it or it didn't happen. I mean, it's it's on the stream. It's there. 